Welcome to the Corf Tutorials. Today we will show you how to set up a simulation case and how to run multiple cases. Let's start again with a simple system containing a control valve and two pipe segments. Our goal this time is to analyze the circuit performance under different conditions. Before specifying cases, let's enable the case dialog, useful if the user double click on an entry. Note that this is not required but can help to add case specifications easily. For this, go to Tools, Options, and the Interface tab. Then click on Show Case Dialog. Then click OK. Before running the simulation, let's configure the results. Select Flow, Equipment Pressure Drops, and Valve CV. Click OK to return to the previous screen. Ensure that all the required specifications are provided, bottom left section, and run the hydraulics. After a few iterations, Corf will find a solution. Notice the solution run log specifies that this solution is for the case 1. To view the case setup, go to the hydraulics menu, and then select cases. There are three fields available, run case numbers, case descriptions, and case reporting. The first option, Run Case Numbers, indicates which cases should be solved during the hydraulic run and in which sequence. It is possible to specify multiple cases but only solve one or two at the time. To run multiple cases, just add the number of the cases separated by a semicolon. Note that cases will be run in the order specified, and the results displayed would correspond to the last case. The second option is for case descriptions. This entry provides the names of the cases for reporting purposes. It doesn't affect the result order or the variables. For example, naming a case minimum doesn't imply it would select the smallest value available for that variable. The last option is related to case reporting. Corf accepts five levels for reporting. Minus one meaning no report. Zero for a complete report. One for pressure profile only. 3 for pressure profile and streams only, and 4 for equipment only. Let's add a second case that would explore the change in flow at different valve opening. In the case management tab, add a second case by adding a semicolon and the number 2. Also, change the case descriptions to normal and minimum. Finally, specify full report for both. That is, specify 0 semicolon 0. You can run the simulation and notice that this time it would indicate the status of two cases. Note that we didn't add any specifications for the second case, yet it was able to find a solution. If a value is omitted for a case, Corf will use the value of the last case provided. Therefore, the values specified for the first case were also used for the second case and all subsequent cases unless something else is specified. To add values for the second case, go to the corresponding pipe or equipment specification and add new values separated by a semicolon. In this case, double click on the valve and go to the size tab. By default, it has a valve coefficient of 50 and it is 100% open. Let's add another valve opening for the second case. This time input 40%. Note that multiple case entries are only supported for certain fields. The labels for these fields have a star, or double-click on any field and see if the case input dialog appears. Now run the hydraulic simulation one more time. After a few iterations, the solution for case 2 is updated. You can see now that the opening corresponds to 40% and the equivalent increase in the valve pressure drop. As a result of this change, we can also see the expected reduction in flow rate. If a specification is not needed, do not input any value. For example, if we want to find the valve opening for a specific flow, we could enter 100 and a semicolon. This would indicate that the first case uses 100, but there is no specification for the second. However, note that with this change, there are less specifications than variables for case two. To be able to run this case, we would need to add a specification. Let's add a flow of 45,000. For this, go to the first pipe segment, Flows tab, and write the value. 
However, as we want to use this value for the second case, that is, the first case doesn't need it, we must use a semicolon, and then the required value. Run the hydraulic simulation. The results for the second case show the new opening at the specified flow. To see the results for the other case, you can change the case order or select the report. Note that we specified full report in the case management so we will have access to pressure profile, streams, and equipment information for each case. Congratulations! Now you know how to create simulation cases, how to enter specifications for any given case, and how to run multiple cases in Corth.